In this video, I'm going to be transforming Garden of Ban Ban characters into horrific versions featuring blood and gore. <coughs> but before that, I'll be drawing each of these bizarre kindergarten mascots using my Crayola twistable colour pencils in a childlike style. And then things will start to get interesting as I flex my horror art skills to see if I can transform these characters into something a little bit more terrifying. It looks like we're right on cue. I've got my other sketchbook ready. I'll be using some different art supplies, some higher quality art supplies. No offense, Crayola Twistable Color Pencils, you suck. <gasps> it's time to get out the Copic Multiliners, the Copic Markers. I recently bought some Winsor & Newton Pro Marker brushes. I also use some Spectrum Noir art supplies throughout this video. Basically, there are so many good art supplies out there, you don't need to stick to one brand. Although Copics are always great. They're a good option, but they're expensive. I guess what inspired me to try some different art supplies, namely cheaper ones, was the fact I've been drawing quite a lot in my sketchbook lately, and it felt like a bit of a waste to use all the ink of my Copics in sketchbooks, which can be quite absorbent, at least the ones I've been using lately. They really suck the life force out of my markers, like a thirsty vampire. <laughs> so descriptive. With the first transformation well underway, I should probably explain what Garten of Ban Ban is for those of you who don't know. Let me read the about page to get you up to speed. Garten of Ban Ban is a horror game that takes place in a mysterious establishment called Ban Ban's Kindergarten where players must uncover the truth behind the disappearance of its occupants. The game is inspired by the Ban Ban and Friends gang, the mascot of the kindergarten that every child loves. Long story short, it follows a similar formula to games like Five Nights at Freddy's, in which they take child-friendly characters and corrupt them into something unrecognisable. A truly heinous and deplorable thing to do. Kind of like what my channel does all the time. Nice. Speaking of which, this first transformation is pretty much done. I drew Ban Ban in a more demonic and horrific way, exaggerating his features like his long tongue, his horns, his sharp teeth. Something I would not want to get eaten alive by. Not that I want to get eaten alive by anything, but I think this one would be a painful one. Next up everybody, let's draw Jumbo Josh. Do you guys reckon I should start one of those kid-friendly how-to-draw-art channels, drawing the most basic things that take like five minutes instead of five hours like the drawings I do, and would probably be way more successful than this channel? I'm sounding so salty right now, aren't I? Yup, that's about right. No one's forcing me to spend so damn long on each of these videos, but I'm a perfectionist, and I feel like I have to keep drawing more and more and do more detailed each and every video, otherwise I'm going backwards, and yeah, it takes a long time, that's why I rarely upload anymore. I've got problems. Hope you guys enjoy it though. <laughs> it's the curse of perfectionism. You know perfection is not possible, so you keep striving for it harder and harder, and you keep putting more time into it, and you know you're never going to achieve it, so yeah. <laughs> Lots of fun. Am I sounding really encouraging and motivating to you guys to start drawing as a new hobby today? Probably not. I'm just having a little whinge about it. But I think the thing is, the better you get at something, you kind of realise that there are levels to it. So it's almost like the more you learn about it, you realise how not good you are. And I don't mean that in a really negative way. Obviously, I don't think I'm terrible at drawing. I've been doing it for a long time. I think I'm decent, but I just know there are so many different areas I can improve. But that's all just part of the process. Speaking of which, I have just finished the process of transforming Jumbo Josh into Jumbo Salad Fingers. You better hide those rusty spoons, because he's coming for them. Next up, I'm drawing a... snail? Okay. These are some really weird mascots, but let's go with it. All 
Alright, now that that insufferable snail is done, I wanted to try something different for this drawing. Instead of focusing on detailed and thick line work, I wanted to minimize that and instead focus on the coloring, just for a different, softer look. So with the sketch done, I move on to the line work, keeping it extremely minimal and thin, not bringing too much attention to it. I probably could have done this drawing without any line work, but I felt more comfortable doing some really thin line work and then building upon that with my colors, which you're gonna see now. And spoilers, I really like how it turned out. Probably one of my favorite drawings from this video. But let me know what you think. Do you like this style of minimal line work? I think it's just fun to mix it up from time to time. But definitely let me know in the comments, once you finish this video, which drawing was your favorite. It's always interesting to hear what everyone likes and then compare it to what I think. I don't think I have a clear favorite drawing from this video. I actually quite like a few of them, especially the next drawing after this has got some cool features. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's finish off this slow snail. Speaking of slow snails, I remember something, I don't know where I heard this, if someone just brought up this scenario, or if it's an actual well-known scenario, I don't know, but is it something like, would you rather get a million dollars, or there is a deadly snail out there, which can go underwater, it can go over any surface, if it touches you, you die. So for the rest of your life, this slow snail is coming for you. You can move wherever you want in the world, but it will still follow you but at a snail pace. Would you take that gamble? I mean, you just would travel, right? With a million dollars, you could go live at multiple different places. But is it terrifying thinking that there's something always hunting you? Albeit slowly, but it's coming for you. Reminds me of that movie, It Follows. I'm sure there's some other good movies like that. It's a cool concept, something that's always coming for you. Always having to live your life with that constant paranoia that there is a snail and it could be anywhere and one day it might just catch up with you. I would not be taking that bet. I like staying at home too much. The snail would probably get me in a week. <laughs> Introvert life. Next up I'll be transforming Nab Nab, which is already terrifying so I don't have to do much to transform this one. I don't know what it's meant to be based off. Maybe loosely a spider, perhaps, although it doesn't have enough legs. But let's just go with it, I suppose. Also, the birthday hat isn't really making this any more kid-friendly. Kids would be terrified of this thing. Birthday hat ain't fixing that. We've established that Nab Nab is creepy as hell, but I think I can step that up even further. So let's transform this bizarre creature into something even more horrific. Unsatisfied with the lack of blood, I knew I had to change that, so I added some gooey, drippy effects coming off this horrific blue banana nab nab. Yeah, it looks like a blue banana. Moldy banana nab nab. This is that one banana that you took to school one day in your school bag and it fell to the bottom of your bag and you didn't clean your bag out and you didn't realize it was actually hidden down at the bottom of your bag and you don't find it till a month later when you start smelling something weird and then your bag is all sticky on the inside because it's like half squished open. Not speaking from experience or anything. That got oddly specific. Wait, overshare. What do you guys reckon of this drawing? 
I like how it turned out. I like the blood effects, I think it amped up the drawing, gave it some movement. I give this drawing a solid 9 out of 10 multi bananas. Next up is Sheriff Toadster. Fun fact, one of my leading roles in a school play was playing a frog. I had one line. Ribbit. That was it. <laughs> Clearly I was destined to be an actor on the big stage. I just decided to do drawing instead. I started out with some sketches for this toad that looked goofy as hell, so I quickly changed that. It's funny because you watch these sped up drawing videos and it looks like things come together quickly, but in reality it all takes a lot more time, so I go through processes of figuring out what I think will make the drawing look cool, and that all takes time. It just doesn't look like it takes time in these videos. But remember that, if you're drawing as well, don't beat yourself up if it takes a while to make a drawing look good. They go through different stages where you don't know what the hell you're doing and hopefully it comes together. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but that's how it goes. With Sheriff Toadster over here, I think it comes together quite nicely. There's a lot of similar colours, which is probably my only concern. Lots of browns, it kind of can look a little bit muddy. But he's a toad! They live in the mud, right? He's got his guts spilling everywhere. I've also flipped over his little Sheriff Star badge and turned it into a chest carving of a satanic star for good measure. He's got a nice big smile, big eyes, all the better to catch them flies. You know what looks juicier than this fly? The white highlights. Adding the final details to give that pop to finish this drawing off. I use a Signo white gel pen for everyone who keeps asking. Another transformation done. R.I.P. Mr. Fly, but big frogs go to eat. Ban Bolina will be the final victim of this video. So let's get out those Crayola twistable colour pencils one last time and finish strong. Thank you for joining me on this colouring journey through the gardens of Ban Ban. What a wonderful experience it's been. What am I talking about? I have no idea anymore. I'm just rambling at this stage. But we're up to the final transformation, so I hope you enjoy it. It's a creepy one. Congratulations, you are one of the lucky few who have survived another horror drawing video. If you'd like to test your luck further, you should definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads. As always, a heartfelt thank you to my amazing patrons for supporting this horrendous channel here on YouTube. You awesome people make this possible. So thank you all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.